I'm Chuck Allen, your ringside commentator with you on all what action we have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. The Sheik, the former United States Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, will be here. Also, you're going to be seeing Austin Idol and uh, many other superstars. In fact, you're going to be seeing Dory Funk Jr. on this telecast. Also with me today, Mark Lewin. Always a pleasure to have Mark Lewin on our telecast. Thanks very much, Chuck, and it uh, looks like we're going to have some, some tremendous uh, tag action here. Let's introduce our first event from Atlanta, Georgia, 355 pounds, Big Red. His tag team partner from Nashville, Tennessee, 225 pounds, Jim Waddell. And there are opponents with a combined weight of 485 pounds from Sydney, Australia, Bob Hefner and Al Costello, the fabulous kangaroos, ladies and gentlemen. Many, many superstars on this telecast that, uh, that you will be seeing. And I know that this event has to be a great event because, Al, any, uh, rather, Mark Lewin, any time you put to the caliber of people in the ring that you see right now, you've got to have some action. Well, I'll be interested to see the tremendous action of uh, Big Red. And there you see uh, Al Costello waving the Australian flag, which he's very proud of. He comes from Sydney, Australia. A uh, tremendous wrestler in his own right, right. a man with a thousand holds, and he tries to put them all on in 30 minutes. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now they're disrobing, and uh, we'll be waiting for uh, the referee, Pat Shane, the official NWA uh, wrestling referee. Give us a signal for the bell, and we'll get action underway. Boy, Big Red's a big man, isn't he? 355 pounds. Who's it going to be first? Oh, we're asking for the bell. <laughs> Oh, we'll get the bell to sound here. Uh, now we've got to go through some movements by the Australians, uh, Bill, Bob Hefner and Al Costello, and the referee looking on in amazement. What in the world are they doing? Do you have any idea of the significance of all of this, Martin? Well, I think uh, it, it uh, rattles your, uh, their opponents to think that they'd be able to uh, warm up in front of them, and uh, it, it sort of gives them... Uh, a feeling of confidence to go ahead and uh, warm up in front of their opponents. Al Costello, a, quite a good mover, and his partner has tremendously big, strong legs. But I'm, I'm in a there's Big Red. He's doing his wiggle. <laughs> oh yes, Jim Waddell and Big Red had to get involved in the action as well. Now who's going to be? That's going to be Jim Waddell, or probably against Bob Hefner, starting action underway here on Professional Big Time Wrestling. I uh, made motion uh, that, that Big Red should stay in his corner, circling his opponent, still uh, commenting at the tremendous size of Big Red. One of the interesting things about the fabulous Kangaroos is they've worked so great in tag team competition. They're tagging in and out very quickly, uh, keeping uh, each one well rested. It's a beautiful side headlock takedown by Bob Hefner on Jim Waddell, right into a leg scissors. It's quite a good, good quick counter of a head scissors on uh, Hefner. He's moving around, trying to position himself for an escape. Uh, now he's just trying to get his leverage, try to pull out of that. That's a way to get the cauliflower ears as well. And oh my goodness, did he do the corkscrew and got out of that one very quickly. A very good to escape. To his feet now. And right back into a half Nelson by Bob Hefner, one of the fabulous kangaroos. Tag is made. Here comes Al Costello. He turns him around. A punch into the midsection on Jim Waddell. That one went right to the jaw. Al Costello pounding away. Bob Shane over there telling Big Red to stay back into the corner. Bob Shane, uh, one of the better referees on professional big time wrestling, making sure law and order uh, is kept. Pat Shane, rather. Sorry. Bob Hefner now, along with Jim Waddell. Punch into the forehand by Jim Waddell. Hefner puts him up into the turnbuckle. That's a tremendous elbow smash by the kangaroo. Another side headlock, ripping away at his ears, pulling him out into center ring to position him. Now, it looked like a, a karate chop to the throat. The referee warns him. Another side headlock. Pulling his head up in there solidly. Al Costello moving in. Setting his man up. Referee putting the count. Al Costello stepping in. Putting on a surfboard a hold. 
Well, the fans see the action at home. What's going on? You know, Mark Lewin, we're very excited about this telecast today. They're going to be seeing Abdul the Butcher. Haven't seen him in quite some time here on professional big time wrestling. Also, the wild man from Syria, the Sheik, will be here. Now, fans, I'd like to remind all of those of you along the network that if you'd like to bring professional big time wrestling to your town or city, contact Pat O'Connor at area 517-655-2218, any club, civic, group, organization that would like to sponsor professional big time wrestling in your town, make sure you contact Pat O'Connor. Also in Canada, phone 514-799-3210. That's in Canada, 514-799-3210. In the United States, area 517-655-2218. Bring professional wrestling to your town. I'm sure that you're going to be glad that you did. See all of these superstars in person. Live action is really tremendous, you know. Uh, the, the different feeling when you get in, into a crowd and are actually part of the wrestling matches. So, so just anybody that uh, is within earshot of my voice, they, they, they should certainly come to the live wrestling matches and get in on some live action. It's really thrilling. It is thrilling to see it in person. Well, Big Red hasn't been involved in any competition so far in this event. Uh, Mark Lewin, they're kind of holding him out. Look out, that's a side uh, punch by Al Costello on Jim Waddell, who's certainly been taking a beating at the hands of these fabulous kangaroos. He's really ripping away. Al Costello's ripping away at his face. I think it'd be, uh, if I was in there, I'd certainly be trying to tag uh, Big Red and let him put on the power right now and try to recover. Well, he certainly tried to get over there numerous times, but uh, the kangaroos are holding back that hand to make sure that a tag is not made. Pat Shane now telling uh, Al Costello to get out of the ring. You've tagged. Your time is over. Looks like he's just about made the tag. No, nope, no, nope, they didn't quite tag him. Big Red wants to get in on this action, oh. and here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, right now. 350 pounds, and he's moving. He's moving. But the referee didn't see the tag and has directed him out of the ring. Now he's made it over to the corner and he's made another tag and now here comes Big made. Red. Woo! Oh, he put some chops on the fabulous kangaroos. Cleaning the ring with this one. There goes Al Costello, punching in the midsection. Headbutt by Big Red on Bob Efner. Oh, that was quite a chop right to the bridge of the nose by Big Red. On Bob Hefner. Pulling on the leg, trying to drag him out of the corner. Now Big Red plants a solid elbow into the knee of Bob Hefner, which has him limping around the ring. Quite a, co a colorful uh, wrestler, Big Red. 350 pounds, and he can move. Yes, he certainly can, and that's a tenuous position for Al Costello to be in up there. I don't think Big Red saw him. What a beautiful way to bring him back into the ring. Al Costello almost left himself wide open up there on those ropes. Bob Hefner tries to go for the body pickup. Impossible. Too much weight there. And Big Red motions that he's crazy for trying. Now he puts a little step out there. Shows him where it's at. He's tipping on, that's for sure. Side headlock now by Bob Hefner on Big Red. Oh, nice, nice arm drag, arm take drag. Take Whoa, beautiful. Al Costello thought about coming in, then decided against it. Now that's got to hurt putting that arm drop on, particularly with the size of Big Red. His arm has been hurt. Half Nelson there by Big Red. Hammerlock. He reaches for the tank. Motions for Al Costello to come in. But Big Red, he, uh -oh, did, you see him, did you see him duck that punch? He's quick, I'm telling you. Al Costello moving around, trying to position himself to take the big man down. He's trying to, trying to get in the position to take him down. If you take a big man down long enough and make him get up enough, he figures he can tire him. Now he's got him down. Both men working on Big Red. Referee calling, calling for a break. Now has to push the other uh, wrestler out of the ring. Al Costello choking Big Red. Vicious attack. Yes, particularly when Pat Shane has to go over and say a few words to Jim Waddell. Then the teaming is made, and Big Red is having to compete with both of the kangaroos. Bob Hefner and Al Costello. Now Pat Shane is telling somebody's got to get out of the ring. 
Quite a bill to the chest by Bob Hefner. Bob, uh, Pat Shane uh, warning Hefner about that. And now it's one on one. Al Costello against Big Red. Whoa, that was a bill to the chin. Tag is made. Here comes Jim Waddell. Tag is made again. Bob Hefner comes in now against Waddell. Costello hangs on. Knee into the midsection. Oh, he set him up for the boomerang. There's the boomerang. A good shot. Back up and drop. over. Oh, beautiful arm smash. This could be it. One, two, three, and it's over, ladies and gentlemen. Bob Hefner with the boomerang and then an elbow smash on Jim Waddell, and it's all over. Now Big Red has a few words to say to Al Costello. They're talking about it. Right back into the referee hall and a build to the head by Look out. Look at the big and man. And you can explode. see what the big man is doing against the fabulous kangaroos. And now he throws Hefner right out of the ring. And it's all over. The bell has sounded. Referee would like to get the action stopped. I'll tell you, Big Red can be a formidable force in the professional big time wrestling. Can he, Mark Lewin? Well, I was really impressed by Big Red, and I, I think that uh, he's got every, everything that it takes to be a professional wrestler. You know, uh, he's got the size, he's got the speed, and uh, he certainly uh, held up very well against both of them there in the end, and I was, I was proud to see him do his job. That's right. Now he's having a few conversations with Jim Waddell, who was defeated with a boomerang. And then the uh, elbow smash into the chest and neck area by Bob Hefner. Oh, he's a big man. 350 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia. Big Red here on Professional Big Time Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Well, don't forget, we have a tremendous telecast. That was just a little bit of it back after this. Oh, did he mark Lillian? He just he jumped right the away. The bell and he's, he's got a vicious attack going. Karate chap to the throat, to strangle hold, using the ropes for leverage. The referee Pat O'Connor trying to break. He's asking for a break. Three count. Abdullah the Butcher moves swiftly for a big man. Very, very swiftly. Very powerful Solid man. Headbutt. I haven't seen anyone so powerful. He just dropped an axe on him. One. Three. And he was easy prey. Easy prey for the butcher. Butcher doesn't want to show any mercy. Holding on him. Holding on him. Mark Lewin is getting up now from our table and uh, wants to go in and break this up uh, against the Butcher. Because the Butcher would have probably have stayed there all day. He jumped the bell, didn't even wait for the bell to sound. Took care of John Irish in a hurry. Now he comes back and tries the attack and, and uh, Mark Lewin gets John Irish out of the way. Butcher made some motion. I don't know whether that was to have Mark Lewin come into the ring or not. Pat Shane, the referee, telling uh, the Butcher it's all over. Get out of the ring. There he is. That's a good picture of Abdullah the Butcher from the Sudan. Our thanks to Mark Lewin for going in there and breaking things up. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back after this. Ladies and gentlemen, action underway here on Professional Big Time Wrestling. Coming in right now from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 305 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, Billy Bird. He will be wrestling the wild one from Syria. Mark Lewin, while we're waiting on the, the Sheik's arrival, I'll tell you, there's been a big change, hasn't there? Well, you can hear the people as the Sheik enters the ring. It's an amazing thing to hear the sound of applause and cheers for the Sheik. You know, so many, many times I've seen the Sheik and wrestled the Sheik when he's, when he's had a different reputation and a different lifestyle. I don't think uh, that his uh, wrestling has changed much, just his personality. It's, it's, it's an overwhelming change, and the people have received him uh, quite well. And uh, he's fighting uh, people around the country that, that uh, certainly need to be. Uh... We'll do a official introduction.
of this wild man from Syria, weighing 242 pounds, the Sheik, the former United States heavyweight wrestling champion, doing his prayers to Allah that he always does. I noticed, Mark, that apparently the ringkeeper put the, put the rug in the wrong corner, and he changed that very quickly. We get the bell sounding action underway. Sheik certainly in his man going behind, picking him off his feet. Quick move, picking him up quickly. Sheik now dashing into the ropes. Still, still using the same style, but the people, people, they just love it now. He's, he's a changed person in their eyes. He's just as rough as ever, just as vicious as ever in that ring. But there's just something about him, Mark, and I really can't put my finger on it, since he still uses the same viciousness, like throwing his opponent out of the ring. And the Sheik waiting for Billy Bird to come back into the ring. Referee, Pat Shane, trying to get Sheik back into a neutral corner. You're supposed to move back to a neutral corner when somebody is out on the apron or out of the ring. Now the Sheik drills his head on that yeah. corner turn post. He's really driving his face into that turnbuckle. Now he's dragging him back into the ring. He's a pretty big man to bring into the ring, too. He brought him in. Sheik does it the hard way, right he over the top him right of the over. Beating him down, beating him down. Uh -oh. Going for the camel Sets clutch. him up for the it. camel clutch. Look out, ladies that's and gentlemen. It, that's it. That's you get a close up on that, you can see that with the force. Actually, it uh, reminds me of, uh, well, it's just like a, what an animal would uh, get on his prey's back. He's breaking his back there, pulling his neck up. He's got him in a real stretchy position. He's given up, and the Sheik is victorious once again. Submission hold, the camel clutch. We've seen him use it so many times and defeat so many opponents with that famous hold of his, the camel clutch. And you really saw that one coming as Billy Bird was absolutely out on his feet, went to the canvas, Sheik rolled him over, went right into the camel clutch. But he's not going to let go for a couple of seconds. He hangs on, the referee, Pat Shane, trying to tell him not to let go. There he does. He gets his hands raised in victory. the world we've heard of the shake now some of them have turned into cheers unbelievable ladies and gentlemen we'll be back with more action here on professional big time wrestling after this message don't go away going to get more action. Here's a man that we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing 242 pounds, the universal delight, ladies and gentlemen, Austin Idol. His opponent from Charleston, West Virginia, weighs 220 pounds, Steve Cooper. Interesting comments made to you, Mark Lewin, as Austin Idol passed by our table. Well, I'll say one thing. Uh... You can see his muscles bulging out from underneath his robe. He's a well, look at that isolation he's done. What a physique, huh? Yeah. Well, a lot of cheers from the audience uh, as they look at him disrobing. And it's a beautiful velvet robe. If you've got black and white TV, it's a beautiful deep green with gold sequins on the sleeves and down the front. Beautiful dress. This guy's real uh, far out. All he talks about is uh, hiring people to be his slave. I don't know what the heck he's talking about. There's a man from Charleston, West Virginia, Steve Cooper in there. Oh, beautiful slap to the chest by Austin Idol. Knee left, right to the chin, puts Cooper down to the canvas. He's using the laces uh, across his eyes, picks him up for a body slam. Crashes him to the mat. He's making very quick work right now. Steve Cooper covers his mat. Look out. Are we going to get a count? No, he lifts him up. He had his man beat right there, Mark Lewin, but he lifts him up quickly. Good solid blow to the side of the face. Using the boots. Puts that big boot right into the kidney. I hear your name mentioned up there. Yeah, visions are pounding my head. Yeah, he's Look out! We just tore a part of this studio. Well, we'll get our microphone picked back up here, and uh, Steve Cooper lands on it. That's about as close as he got to Mark Lewin so far today, ladies and gentlemen. Austin Idol from Las Vegas, Nevada. 
Pat Shane asked him to get back to a neutral corner and let Cooper in properly. Right back into a headlock with a punch right to the jaw and under the chin. Painful blow. Kick to the midsection by Austin Idol. The universal delight. Cooper coming up there with a weak elbow smash to the chest. Brutal body slams by Austin Idol. Certainly developed that body well. Arm drag into the ropes. Spring bounds off. Ooh. Boy, he really closed lying him. Now he's driving it. This is the hold that I was telling you about before the program. It's called the rack. He pushes down deep on the temple of a man and he yeah, brings it up quickly. That's all over. That's all over. It's all over, ladies and gentlemen. A submission hold right into the temple called the rack. Austin Idol, the winner, very quickly here on Professional Big Time Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, really oh that's got to be a painful maneuver, Mark. Oh, brother, he drove that. He gave up just as quickly as he uh, tore into his temple there. That's some hold. That's right. Here on Professional Big Time Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Allen and Mark Lewin with you at ringside. Austin Idol making a few words right now to Mark Lewin. We'll be back after this. Weighing 250 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, the former world's heavyweight wrestling champion, Dory Funk Jr. Also on the back of his beautiful jacket, West Texas State, a graduate from there. His tag team partner from Montreal, weighing 227 pounds, Pierre Lafay. Their opponents, first of all, from Munich, Germany, weighing 260 pounds, Kurt Von Hess. Team partner from Indianapolis, Indiana, weighing 241 pounds, Bulldog Don Kent, along with his manager, Pretty Boy Floyd Reachman. Well, that's uh, a lot of manpower in that ring, Mark One. Well, you know, it's uh, good to see uh, Dory Funk uh, here on television. Uh, I've always admired the Funks, uh, Terry and Dory. I knew the uh, father, uh, Dory Sr., and I know how proud he was to have two sons to become world heavyweight champions. That's, that's uh, never been in the history of wrestling before. But uh, they live, sleep, and breathe uh, wrestling. It, they come from a wrestling family the same as I do. My brothers are wrestlers, and uh, they just groom for it. Uh, they groom for a president of the United States. Just, just a simple... Uh, a simple hip toss by Dory Funk gets the people very excited against Bulldog uh, Don Kent, who no one has any love for. And his partner, uh, Haswell, he's got the face that only a mother could love, believe me. Well, it's a beautiful drag into the uh, ring and a beautiful arm drag takedown by Dory Funk. Did you notice how uh, Dory Funk recovered uh, from the tackle and uh, quickly turned it into an arm drag? Absolutely. It's a beauty in motion when he's in that ring wrestling. Now both contestants, interestingly enough, got a lot of wrestling experience wrestling in the NCAA in college. Pierre Lafayette, one of them, of course from West Texas State, Dory Funk Jr. And they are beauty in motion when it comes to wrestling in that ring. Beautiful body slam by Pierre Lafayette, nice on the takedown. I'm Don Kent the Bulldog. Whoa, this is something a little bit different for Kent. He hasn't been in command yet since the opening bell. Now Kirk on Hess's turn. Bear the five. Arm drag takedown again on Hess. Another high arm drag by the five. Dory Funk asking for the tag and gets it. Now Dory comes in, sets himself on that arm. Hess arm drags him very smoothly. Funk gets up, backs towards the ropes, pushes his opponent back in. Watching Hess very, very carefully, which I don't blame him. Yes, Hess does not look like he's changed too much since the last time we had him here on professional big time wrestling. Super athlete then, apparently super athlete now. Wins a lot of his matches across this country and around the world. Tremendous positioning on uh, Dory Funk uh, Jr. And Hess drives him again to try to get him up against the ropes. He's doing a solid blow. Another elbow smash on the Dory. 
Dory turning his man around. He wouldn't take very much of that. And a high elbow. A good high elbow up this. And another lifting elbow. Drops him back. And now he tags the Bulldog. Now we saw a couple of elbow smashes, a high elbow knee uh, lift, et cetera, et cetera. Mark Lewin, what does that feel like when you're in that ring wrestling? Somebody lays something like that on you? Well, uh, when uh, Dory Funk uh, Jr. was world champion, I had the occasion to wrestle him in Miami, uh, Florida. And I felt his elbow smashes. They were pretty rugged, I'll tell you. He's, he's got tremendous balance. And he drops a good elbow across the Bulldog's throat, covers him up for a count of one to two, almost a three count. Bulldog better be careful. Sorry, Funk. Funk could uh, get a one, two, three very quickly, I'm sure. Doesn't make any difference who he's against. He does it so smoothly and beautiful. Tag is made, and now Pierre Lefebvre comes in. We've got quite a tag team action here for you. All four contestants, very amiable in that ring, and uh, victory could come at any time on any team from any contestant we carry it a little further we've got some great talent in there you know when you you pit four men this size and in, in, in a, a, a wrestling ring you realize the weight you have in there especially when four men get in action but honestly single combat is where the real test man against man Supposing you had Bulldog Don Ken against Dory Funk Jr., you would have no rest periods. You'd have them facing one another. No timeouts. Just man against man. And the Bulldog's face is red. It's red as a beat, and the sweat's starting to pour down his face as he's working over the five. Hess driving in a punch. Dory Funk Jr. waiting to get into the action. Holding the five down. Now he pulls his hair. Dory won't stand for much of that. The creatsman trying to get in there to distract the referee. Another Great. solid, solid elbow. Creatsman standing on that apron had a couple of words to say to the Bulldog Don Kent a moment ago. Tag is made now. Kent will come in against Pierre Lafayette. Now Creatsman has a few words to say to Pat Shane, the referee. Pat Shane won't take any talk either. He'll tell him to get out of there very quickly. Good referee, Pat Shane. Tries to keep the rules correct in there. There's the hair again. Pat Shane saw it. He asked for a break quickly. Flying mare. Well, that's a heavy knee right across the throat of Pierre Lefebvre. Kent puts that knee up right into the chest of Pierre Lefebvre, driven in there by Von Hess. Double teaming. Now Von Hess comes out. Count Dory is given for Dory Funk. Get back in there in that corner. Dory wants in on that action. That's for sure. Look at Creechman down there laughing. Pretty boy Floyd. That's another good mark of tag team wrestling uh, by tagging in and out very quickly. Gives their partners time to rest and get a quick breather. Oh, look out for this one. Oh, tremendous headbutt into the midsection. Now he tags the Bulldog, who's showing no mercy either. Running in, driving into the Fife. The Fife better try to get to his tag team partner. Dory Funk waiting, waiting, waiting for the tag. He just about got it, just about making the tag. From this angle here, it only looks like a, a short distance. Short distance. Here comes Creech Minute. Dory made the tag. I made the tag. He's coming. Oh, the referee did not catch the tag. Shoving Dory Funk out. Now both men working, working on the fight. Pat Shane did not see the tag. He's not letting Dory Funk come in. That's always interesting to me because then the other team has a chance to double up. Once again, Von Hess pulled that arm back away from Dory Funk. I didn't see a tag that time either. No, there was no Dory tag just that came time. In. Uh, the Bulldog came in now, shoving Lefeif to the to the concrete. Dory Funk going down the system back into the ring. Dory Funk Jr., a very popular, popular athlete throughout this world. Crowd, when they first saw him walk through the studio, went wild. And there's Christman holding on to his tights. He better be careful. If Lefeif... Or Dory Funk turn around and nail him, it'll be curtains for him. Now Funk moving in again. 
Referee knocking him out. Kreutzmann holding on to him. The German is pulling his hair. Hess is chopping down on him. Chopping down on him. Referee looking. Now, Mark, I know you don't like what you're seeing, and I see there on occasion you want to get up and do something about it. Boy, it got me dancing right <laughs> in my seat here, I'll tell That's you. That's right. You can imagine how Dory feels. You don't want to let his partner down. The, the main thing is to be able to rely on your tag team partner. Now he throws him into the turnbuckle. Hess working him over. I hate this Hess to guts. Oh, he reversed it, and he's made the tag with Funk. He's made the tag, and here comes Dory Funk Jr. Pat Shane saw it this time. It's legal. I throw. Smash into the bulldog. He throws after the bulldog. A big high slam. He slams the bulldog. We got Von Hess and Pierre Lafayre on the far side of the ring wrestling on the floor. Outside the outside the ring, there's action too. But Dory Funk Jr. throws down, cut out. Now he's got a hold of Hess, and he's going for the suplex. A high high suplex, Whoa. and there it is. He suplexed him, and he's covered him. No, he hasn't covered him. He's jumping on his face. What a beautiful move, and he's giving it to him good. Come on, Dory. Beautiful elbow smash. Come on, Dory. That looks like a good for Dory. Oh, it comes down. Dad kept the bulldog. Now he throws the bulldog in. A high back drop. Some of them hurling through the rope. And Dory Funk has proven that he's a champion in all respects. Flying mare. Hits the ropes. A big elbow. Oh, he misses the elbow. Hess up on his feet. Moving in on Funk. Funk in a little bit of trouble. Drives his knee, his head into his knee. Bulldog coming in. Well, I thought it was about time, and I thought that Dory Funk Jr. would get the get the count one, two, three very quickly. Oh, the change of events here on professional big time wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't take long. This is real hard competition. Well, look at the caliber of men you have in that ring, Mark. Like we talked about before, you have four superstars here doing battle. Funk in a little bit of trouble, a little bit of he's staggered. Oh, he tried to pick Small it up. package. It's a beautiful cradle. Oh, he's got it. Beautiful move, Dory. Beautiful move. Oh, he's got the referee. And that gets, he's got a chain out of his sight. He's got a chain. He's, he's busting into, into the door of his head. The referee's got to put a stop to that. Yes, he does. The referee's got to put a stop to that. Dory Funk oh, no. is bleeding. Dory Funk he's bleeding. Is bleeding. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've got to put a stop to this. Wrapped around the fist. We've cut him wide open. Come on. We're on the fight now, trying to get kicked. Now we're at three. There's no one to get away from Junius. Somebody has to put a stop to this. Somebody has to put a stop to this. And there's Terry Funk. There's Dory's brother. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Cohen is going to get into the fray as well. Terry Funk uh, runs into that ring. Try to help out his brother, Dory Funk. Dory falls to the canvas. Mark Cohen in there now with Terry and Dory. Dory hurt, hurt brutally by Bulldog Don Kent. Had the chain wrapped around his knuckles. What a vicious animal he is. Well, that's where the Bulldog name comes in for for Bulldog Don Kent. Mark Lewin is asking for some bandages or something from somebody here in the audience. Dory Funk is still dazed, tries to get to his feet, immediately falls back to the canvas. A t-shirt now has been provided by one of the fans. It'll go around the head of Dory Funk until we can get him out of here and get some first aid to him. Mark Lewin in there with Terry Funk and Dory Funk. And Dory says, well, maybe I can make it out. Terry trying to help him at the hands of the brutal bulldog Don Kent here on Professional Big Time Wrestling. Well, we haven't seen an injury this bad in quite some time, ladies and gentlemen, on Professional Big Time Wrestling. And we apologize along our network. We try not to have uh, this type of an injury, but uh, sometimes it can't be helped, I guess. Look out, here comes Bulldog Don Kent back in. Oh, he's going in against three big men now. When you want to mess with Mark Lewin and Terry Funk and Dory Funk, look out. Dory tells Terry to get out of the way now. 
Here comes Austin Idol. Oh, what's happening here on Professional Big Time Wrestling? The chair is thrown in by Mark Lund. Pat Shane trying to keep order and telling everybody to get out that does not belong there. Dory Funk wants Bulldog Kent into the ring right now. Austin Idol from Las Vegas, Nevada, standing at ringside. He came back in with Bulldog Don Kent. Terry Funk wants Kent to get back into the ring against Dory. Oh, great wrestling family, as Mark Lewin told you earlier. Dory Funk Sr., a great, great man. It was always exciting to watch him wrestle. Just a very short time remaining in this segment of professional big time wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, Dory Funk back on his knees, waiting for Bulldog Kent to come in. But our time has expired for this segment. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen, after this. Don't go away. Ladies and gentlemen, that was quite action here on Professional Big Time Wrestling. And, uh, uh, we're waiting for our next contestants to come into the ring, but Mark Lewin is back with us now and has got his breath. Yeah, well, uh, Dory Funk is busted wide open by uh, Don Kent's uh, vicious attack. He, he busted him open with his uh, chain. And I know that uh, the Funks don't let uh, anything go unanswered, that's for sure. They're, they're, they're men. Where they come from, they build men. And I'm sure he won't let this go unanswered. Let's introduce our next contestants here on Professional Big Time Wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing from Paris, France, weighing 285 pounds, Garth Vader. And his opponent from Buzzard Creek, Oregon, weighing 280 pounds, the man that originated the heart punch, Stan the Man Stasia. To the chair of this crowd here on Professional Big Time Wrestling, watching it live. And we're waiting for Fat Shane to give us the signal for the bell, and we get it. That heart punch, Mark Loon, is a brutal, brutal blow. Yes, uh, you see the taped hand is symbolic of the heart punch. It, uh, it, well, uh, I believe Stan the Man Stasiak just lost his head last time, and uh, he was heart punching everybody, including me, so I know exactly what the heart punch feels like. Stan the Man Stasiak, known all over the world for the heart punch. You know, one time I saw him hit, hit so hard, he was in a taxi cab and he hit the shield of the wind windshield and popped it right out. Wow. He was arrested for it. He's been in a lot of trouble all of his life, but he's, he's a tremendous contender, you know. He's got a violent temper and he's got the killer instinct, which makes makes a man like Stasiak have the drive to become like the United States heavyweight champion. That's for sure. He could easily be, could become. And he's got, and he's got a, a record that's uh, unbeatable. Well, he's had a front face lock so far on Garth Vader. Garth Vader is certainly uh, nobody to uh, deal with. He's uh, quite an opponent and quite a contestant, certainly in contention for the United States heavyweight championship as well. That's true. Stand the main Stasiak. The heart punch, you never know when it's going to come, but when it does, it's all over. It's a double wrist lock. He has a firm on the, his opponent. Stand the man in the corner. This has been quite some telecast, ladies and gentlemen, on professional big time wrestling. I'm not sure of the time remaining, but uh, I don't believe uh, it's been quite some time since we've had the caliber of the champions that have paraded through this past hour. Wouldn't you agree with that, Mark Lund? Well, you had two uh, world champions uh, right on the show, uh, uh, Dory Funk uh, and Terry Funk. They're both uh, world heavyweight champions. They can't get any finer caliber than that. They're That's known right. Throughout the world as world champions, they both were. Then again, uh, the former champion, Wild Man from Syria, the Sheik on this telecast. Wow, this will be an hour of wrestling you'll be talking about for quite some time. I'm sure of that. Uh, Stasiak softening up his opponent. That was a heavy blow, wasn't it? Yes. You could hear that all over the building. He has a powerful arm, 280 pounds from Buzzard Creek, Oregon. Front face lock, that's always a hurtful hold. Throws him through the ropes right onto the concrete cement here in our studio. Stan looks like he has a little smile on his face. I'm not sure if he does or not. Now we're going to get a count. The referee will probably want to put Stan back to a neutral corner before he allows uh, uh, the count to continue. 
Garth Vader now making his move back into the ring. Heavy blow to the forehead. He's very, very calculated today, Stasiak. He's not wasting any moves. He stalks this man. Heavy blow. Drives him to the mat. You can see the look on Stasiak's uh, face. It's, it's one of a guy of determination, you know. Uh, He's made boasts that he can drop anybody. He could drop Andre the Giant, he says, with a hard punch. He can drop uh, Haystack Scalhoun. He says he, he, he can drop anyone with, with a hard punch. And yeah. he's got fantastic recuperative uh, powers, too. Yes, he does. Arm lock now on Garth Vader. Yes, that's interesting, Mark. Your comments about uh, Stan Stasiak saying he can drop anybody. He says there isn't a man alive that can withstand his hard punch. That's quite a statement. Now they're just sizing one another up. Pat Shane, the referee, just looking on. Stasiak said something to the referee, and I'm not quite sure what it was. Crowd is very quiet. I think they're almost waiting for the hard punch. Yeah. It's very pensive mood here right now. Of course, you've, you just had that heavy situation with... Uh, Dory Funk Jr. and uh, Bulldog Don Ken. It's got everybody on edge. And you can tell that Stasiak has the thirst for blood also on his face. Now Garth Vader has stand the man Stasiak up against the ropes, pounding at the head. What was that? Garth Vader put a claw or something into the back of Stan the Man Stasiak. Stasiak not quite sure what it was all about either. Fists Ooh. are double up now, making a boxing match out of this. Driving wow. heavy blows and uh, now but that was just just below the base of the skull. That was softening quite a, him up. Quite a punch to the jaw too that really put him to the canvas, I believe. And of course that heavily taped hand. Once again, Garth Vader out on the concrete. Took quite a tumble that time. Once again, Pat Shane giving the count on Garth and Vader. here comes Stasiak out on the floor. I don't like this. Another heavy look blow. Out. Here he comes. Right toward, look out. Here comes Whoa. the shape. Wow. Wow. Look at this here. Throws again. That's Stasiak. The the Stasiak. Now the shape comes up to the table to have a few comments. He doesn't like one. Look out. There, wait, wait, wait. There's a hard blow. The hard punch applied by stand the man Stasiak, and he covers his man. One, two, three. But it's here comes the sheik. The sheik There's hate in between the these two. Throws that can in against stand the man Stasiak. A big battle has been feuding between these two, stand the man Stasiak and the sheik. Wow, looks like we might have some more, more action here. The Stasiak. sheik once again goes after him with that Ooh. can. And the Sheik is standing in there waiting for Stasiak to get into the ring. Now the Sheik comes out, out on the apron, wants to clear the ring. I believe he'd like to go into competition right now against Stan the Man Stasiak, Mark Lewis. He's a wild man. The Sheik is a wild man. You never can tell. He's liable to even get the... Well, there's liable to be a burning right here this afternoon. I like your comments about the burning. One time you said that a few weeks ago on television. I walked into the arena and everybody said, we're going to be burned. We're going to be burned. Stand the man Stasiak now looking very cautiously. I hear some noise, but I can't see the former champion. Oh, here he comes. The Sheik coming back with the chair. Stand the man walking around the, the outside of the people are screaming the for the Sheik to get into action with Stasiak. They want him in there. Right here on professional big time wrestling television. They want the Sheik against Stan the Man Stasiak. I think Look up. Throws the chair our looks way. Like, uh, I don't know why that was. It looks like Stasiak's opponent. Um, well, he's in trouble. He's hurt. He's Garth in trouble. Vader's being helped out of the ring by he's the hurt. security police. He's what are you shooting your mouth about? See what happened out there? You got any ideas? Look at You got any well, ideas? Concerned the sheep. You want to make some more bets? I just burn your yeah. ugly face for you, man. Yeah. When I'm through with him, you're next. You're next. You're the next man out of wrestling. 
One of my victims. You are conspiring against me. Look. Here comes the sheep once again, ladies and gentlemen. This time on the table. Hits it over the top of the head. Stand the man, Stasiak. Oh, much to the delight of the crowd here in our television studio. Now Stasiak in the ring. Here comes the sheep in the ring. Fists are doubled up. Oh, my goodness. We might have a brand new match here on Professional Big Time Wrestling. Now Stasiak crawls through the ropes, back out on the floor once again. And the Sheik is saying, come on, let's fight. He wants to have a back into that ring. We've had everything on professional wrestling today. There's no love lost between these two. Doesn't really sound like there's any love lost between uh, Mark Lewin and Stan the Man Stasiak either. Uh, it looks like the Sheik wants to eat him alive. And Stasiak is on the run. The Sheik is quick, he's around the ring too. Now the Sheik picks up another chair. Ah, a chair. We've got a couple of chairs, a table, a can. Stand the man Stasiak doesn't really have anywhere to hide. Now the crowd chanting, go Sheik, go. It looks like a tornado has come through this studio. Stan the man Stasiak walking around, the Sheik getting into the ring. He wants Stan in there. The Sheik is definitely challenging him. Yes, he is. Why don't you get in there? He's not challenging. Why don't you get in there? He's not challenging. He's just a savage, but I'll keep him. I'll keep him so I get him in front of a lot of people. I'll wave him goodbye. And then it's your turn because I feel you put him up to this. I think that uh, Stasiak better worry about the Sheik right now because the Sheik is just about the top of here. Well, now Mark Lewin has Stan the Man Stasiak set up by the Sheik. The Sheik pounds him on the top of the head. Stasiak goes down. Now Sheik brings the can back over. And the can is tossed in the body of Stan the Man Stasiak. The Sheik is going wild, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he puts a hard punch. Had the heart punch applied to him. Oh, that was painful. Quite a surprise, and certainly was a surprise to stand the man Stasiak to have his arm raised and the heart punch going right on its mark, ladies and gentlemen. And I believe now that action has just about quieted down here on professional big time wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure. I'm sure, stand the man Stasiak, that that was quite a surprise to you to have a heart punch applied. Yes. It really surprised me because there's a lot of them that have tried it and have tried to claim it. But you notice I have got up. I got up, but when I hit them, they don't get up. I have to say that I have something to contend with right now. The man can throw a hard punch, but I proved one thing. I can survive it. I can survive his fire. I can survive any foreign object. I proved that. I can survive any of his punishment, and I can also survive his heart punch. How about the fire? <coughs> the crowd is even asking fire. about the fire. The fire has been promised me, but he doesn't have a chance to blink his eye. So he doesn't have time, he doesn't have a chance because I'm on him like a fly. I'm on him all the time, he doesn't have time to move. I'm behind him, I'm underneath him. I'm pulverizing him with lefts and with rights. And he doesn't have the time to even see because when blood flows through his Ladies eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, you have seen the uh, see. problem that he you can't have with Stan the Man Stasiak, the Sheik, Mark Lewis, the Young Stars. Thank you so much You've for being with us, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck Allen, I see you next week. I promise you that.